You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host, Sydney. And I have another book review to share with you guys. So, as you guys know um, from my very first Kate Cleese video, which I'll put up in the cards down in the video description below. I really liked her. Um, this is another book by Kate Cleese. Um, this is not part of the series that I think was done by her as well. Um, I just finished reviewing all four of another series called 43 Cemetery Road, which I will review in another video. Anyway, this one is called Homesick by Kate Cleese, and this is a great book. This is, here's what this is about. Benny's parents are splitting up. His mom leaves home after a fight about a mysterious splinter that's supposedly part of an important relic. Benny's dad has always liked clutter, but now he begins hoarding everything from pizza boxes to old motorcycle parts. As his house grows more cluttered and his father grows more distant, Benny tries to sort out whether he can change anything at all. Meanwhile, a local teacher enters their quiet Missouri town in America's most charming small town contest, and the pressure is on to clean up, especially Benny's ramshackle of a house, before the out-of-town guests arrive. With the cast of characters readers won't soon forget and the disaster no one sees coming, Homesick explores the challenges of living with difficult people in difficult times and of looking for hope and meaning around the splinters of one's life. So this is a great book. Um, this has 180 um, pages and it has 21 chapters. So it's not a long read, it's not a difficult read, and it's one that I enjoyed. It had a surprise twist, um, but that is near the end, and I don't like to give away the endings if I can't help it. Obviously, if it's a if it's a um, a series review, I might. But when I think of homesickness, I think of being homesick for a home country or a hometown or something like that. This really um, is a different kind of homesickness, the way things used to be or something like that. Um, as you guys know, um, a year ago I graduated from um, Southern New Hampshire University and I got an associate's degree in psychology. And this little synopsis about hoarding things is a disorder and it can be life-threatening if it's extreme enough. And there's definitely some things that people need to work through if that is a problem in one's living wherever they live and definitely one's living situation whether they live at home or they live with family things like that um, I also have some great news um, I finally got an Instagram account um, so you guys can find me on Instagram um, my screen name is the book reviewer 2016 I will put a link down in the description below to where you can find me on Instagram I will be pictures of books and other things that I find interesting so I was really excited about that um, that way you can see pictures of books that I've done pictures of maybe I'll cook reviews we'll see so, um, so this book does have a something all over the place but um, 
I will put a link down in the chin below. Tweet it. It's definitely cheap um, to get it on just the physical book because you have to wait for shipping and things like that. Um, so, um, is, um, Holmes Cake Clean, and that is my review for today. That's all I have for you guys, um, option box below, with a um, link to the ebook, um, don't, um, so that will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And I, I will see you again next week. With probably a series review. And another book review. Thanks guys.